The AI image revolution has begun, and while some questions remain, it is inevitable that AI will stay. You may have noticed a flood of new images pouring in from every direction, as if everyone suddenly became an artist. And they did in some ways. Midjourney, for example, became a sensation in just a very short time, with 3 million users registered and at any given time at least 200,000 generating images from their prompts. While Midjourney is currently available in Discord, this will be changing very soon as they will open their web interface. I'll skip the philosophical questions of who is and isn't the author of these images and get right to the point. The images produced by Midjourney are astonishingly good, but still suffer from lower resolution. The AI Photo and Art Enhancer is the most effective method for enlarging these images as it also uses artificial intelligence. In this short video, we will enlarge an oil painting type of generated image. The first trick is to apply a small amount of glue to the image in the form of a consistent canvas texture. This is a purely optional step. Canvas texture can be added in Photoshop, for example, but since I have Dynamic Auto Painter, I'm going to use that instead. Here's a little trick you may not be aware of. You can open any image in Dynamic Auto Painter without any additional painting and then add effects to it. To do so, open Dynamic Auto Painter and drag image into it while holding Ctrl and Shift. If you did everything correctly, all of the red tabs reserved for after painting effects will be enabled. Go to the Canvas tab, then select a canvas press it and adjust it to your liking. Then click the Apply to Painting button. You can also adjust colors in the Color Adjust if you wish, then go to Final Output and use Save As. The rest of the work is done in AI Photo and Art Enhancer. Drag the newly saved image into the application, select DAP Painting, press it, and click Process. After a minute or so, you should have a sharp and enlarged image that is absolutely fantastic for printing. That's it for now. Keep an eye out for more videos on this topic.